In August 1944, the Germans had decided to evacuate the ghetto. The Russians had been uh, near Warsaw, on the other side of Vistula, and uh, they had decided there was enough and there was enough. The, uh, they couldn't maintain anymore. They didn't want to maintain the, the ghetto. <coughs> Danger was too close. So they, they uh, decided to evacuate <coughs> all the Jews in the ghetto of Lodz to Auschwitz. And uh, the Jewish police was rounding up people and bringing them to the cattle cars, which went to Auschwitz. So <clears throat> my family and the family of my, of my future wife, my girlfriend at the time, <clears throat> had uh, decided to hide in, in the apartment. We put up a, a false wall, you know, <clears throat> with a uh, <clears throat> piece of furniture blocking that room. And we, we, and there were about ten people there, and we, we, we hid out for about ten days. They had food stashed for, for a number of days. In the evening, we would go out and possibly cook something, <coughs> and nobody was around. And one day, a German officer went around with the Jewish police, and he found that there was, uh, the space didn't make sense. There was, must have been an additional room, and they broke in and got us out. They found us, and the Jewish police was with them, and they just uh, <clears throat> urged us on to go down, and they we had to, they, they assembled us, and we brought us to the uh, cattle cars, which uh, went to Auschwitz.